Well, almost as quickly as COVID-19 shut down businesses, it feels like we're now on the fast track to going back to normal. But a return to the workplace comes with a few big concerns. And 13 X News anchor Rosti Matei joins us right now with some ways to manage our mental health as we get back to business. For so many Americans, this virus is a source of a lot of added stress that we're not used to and many of us may not know how to handle it. I recently spoke with a mental health expert who says the fear surrounding this virus will only intensify when we're at the office, which is why she's offering five easy tips to help you stay healthy while working, starting with managing that extra stress. We are in a serious mental health situation in our country that we have to treat urgently. It may sound cliche, but when it comes to coping methods, Dr. Bernadette Melnick says deep breathing is amongst the most beneficial exercises for the brain and body. Just taking five big, deep abdominal breaths can cut the fight flight response, bring down stress, bring down blood pressure. And one of the best times for breathing is while you're washing your hands, which falls under Dr. Melnick's second tip, don't let your guard down. This is behavior change. We all know it takes on average 30 to 60 days of practice to change your thinking or to change your behavior. Next, as exciting as it may be to see old coworkers again, Dr. Melnick says you got to push away from your peers. That's six feet of distance is super important to prevent spread. Fourth, find ways to stay fit, both physically and mentally. Physical activity, healthy eating, sleeping at least seven hours a night, practicing stress reduction. People need to engage in healthy behaviors during this transition so they keep their immune system bolstered. And finally, continue to look out for your coworkers. Being accountable to one or two other people, checking in on people, encouraging them to practice their stress reduction skills, to stay active. We can do so much to support each other through this transition. Now, Dr. Melnick says when your stress symptoms start interfering with your ability to function at work, that is probably the time to seek some professional help, and there is no shame in that. If you're looking for more ways to reduce your stress at work, we have posted some techniques for you at ktnv.com rebound. In the studio, Ross D. Matei, 13 Action News.